So, uh, as you know, we have two fun-loving dogs. One that's low maintenance, and one that is normally very, very high maintenance. Especially social anxiety, separation anxiety. Uh, whenever we leave, especially whenever Chris leaves, it usually gives Priscilla a lot of stress. Um, even if I'm home sometimes, uh, depending on her mood when Chris leaves, she might be very whiny. Um, and uh, we, we took a couple videos of her separation anxiety in our travel trailer and our home, where she kind of runs around everywhere and she's quite excited. Um, she had never destroyed anything. We got this nice new Class A a few weeks ago, or actually about a week ago, and um, we definitely were not as comfortable leaving her here as we are in the uh, travel trailer or the house, just because of the, the cost if she did damage something. And the uh, the dash is a great place for her to jump up on. So we're, we've ordered a, a dash cover just for when that happens. Um, however, we're trying to uh, keep it obviously in pristine condition. So the plan was to uh, put the dogs in the garage area. There's windows she can walk out or look out and uh, there's heating and cooling in there to keep her safe, keep her warm or cool, depending on uh, the temperature outside. Uh, there's not really much in there that can be damaged. Uh, there's, a, there's a TV high up on the wall, there's a cabinet. Um, other than that, we have everything put, pretty much put up out of the way. Well, the first night we were at uh, Ted and Linda's house, we put her in there as a test. We went and ate dinner. It got dark when we were in there. And Priscilla is a, a little bit night blind, so she tends to get a little bit more uh, stressed like that. But as I said, she never tears anything up. Well, she did. She clawed up on the wall, ripped off the TV wires, and bit the corner of the TV and destroyed the TV. So uh, no longer is she a dog that doesn't do damage, which has caused us to step up the effort and uh, talk to the vet to get some medication. We had tried some medication before. We had tried uh, that medication. We realized uh, we were giving the wrong dose. Uh, so we had tried to up the dose. It didn't really work. Um, so we'd called the vet to uh, see if there was something else we could try. And long story short, we picked up the We picked up the subscription yesterday. And today we gave it a try. We gave her the correct dosage of this prescription. And uh, we're doing a test. So I've walked outside a couple of times, but now I'm going to take a little bit longer walk. She seems pretty relaxed. She doesn't seem to get up and jump up off the couch when I leave. So I'm going to go outside and uh, observe on my phone how she behaves while I'm gone. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I... So I'm uh, sitting outside the uh, motorhome here just watching the display on my phone to see how she's doing and she seems very relaxed after the first few minutes, so that's a, a very good sign. I'm gonna watch out here for a little while and then sneak in through the back and uh, just sit on the bed for a while and see how long it takes her to uh, be active or get up, get anxious. Uh, the hope is that she'll spend the next at least hour or so just kind of relaxed, napping and chilling out on the couch. Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding. All right, so I've snuck back in, and she was still laying down and looking the other direction. So, question is whether she'll smell me back here and come check on me. She's deaf, so she won't hear me. But so far, it looks like he's doing pretty well. Even if the sky is falling down.
Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground and I... Well, we're over 20 minutes in and Priscilla is still laying on the couch and Presley has found me in my hiding spot. This is a good sign. Priscilla is very relaxed and just enjoying her drowsy sleepiness. I really wanna know, really wanna know If I let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The sky is falling down Alright, Chris is on her uh, way back So before she gets back I'm going to give one try. As you see, she went right back to sleep. So she wasn't very excited when she didn't know where anybody was at. She just casually came and found me in the uh, bedroom back there and then uh, came back out here, got back up on the uh, couch, and she's back to sleeping just fine. So let's see what happens when we go outside now. Even if the sky is falling down Well, that's pretty impressive. After a little over an hour, I left again, as you see, and she did not wake up when I went out or when I came back in. Oh, that's pretty impressive because I went out again and obviously she didn't even wake up when I came back in. So that's a, a great sign. So I think we have something to work with here that'll give us some freedom to be able to go to dinner, take an hour or two motorcycle ride without having to put her in daycare or boarding. Which she So just a few days ago, we tested out the uh, medicine and it knocked her out. We're trying again tonight so we can go to uh, dinner with Ted and Linda before we head south. And uh, it doesn't appear to be knocking her out as much. So I'm hoping that she just uh, lays down here. But I suspect she's probably not going to lay down. And we'll see how excited she gets when I walk outside. <laughs> 